Hi guys, Greg here for Newegg. As laptops get thinner and lighter, which is a good thing, we find that in order to save size and weight, their connectivity ports have started to become fewer and further between, which we might take as a sort of bad thing. However, the Saving Grace is an amazingly powerful connection type either called USB-C or Thunderbolt 3. By utilizing either of these two types of connector ports on a laptop, you can cover almost every input and output that you could possibly need, including two-way power. Now to an old guy like me who grew up with a computer that had a plethora of ports all over it, including parallel and serial ports that had super wide ribbon cables coming out all over the place and creating a big mess everywhere, this is just like a daydream. Imagine, come home, plunk your lovely little laptop down on your work desk, plug in only one very thin cable, and then voila! Absolutely all of your peripherals are connected now, including the power supply to the laptop. So what do you then need to pull off this feat of magic, aside from having one of these super ports on your laptop? Well, you just need this beautiful little wavelength docking station. Then we have two USB Type-C ports for USB-C peripheral connectivity and 3 amp of 5 volt power. They're right over here. We then have, over here, we have a gigabit Ethernet port and we have uh, two audio out, mic in, and then two HDMI and two DisplayPort connections. What else could you possibly need? It's basically all there. As the Wavelength docking station is equipped with DisplayLink technology, you get super simple plug-and-play connectivity for a series of monitors, up to two 4K displays or one 5K. The HDMI ports and the display ports support 4K with resolutions up to 4096 by 2160 at 60 Hz. Or when using dual display ports simultaneously, the dock supports one 5K monitor up to a resolution of 5120 by 2880 at 60 Hz. So whether you're working on a CAD project at home, cutting videos, or just playing some fun games, you're totally covered here. One of the coolest features is that if your laptop supports Type-C charging, this dock will then be able to charge your laptop with up to a 60 watt power requirement right through that one little USB cable you've plugged into the dock. So there's no need to hook up a power cable to the laptop anymore. The one power supply to the dock will handle everything. And aside from giving your laptop 60 watts of power, it also leaves another 40 watts of power for all downstream devices connected to the dock. Because the dock's own power supply, which is here, provides the dock with a hefty 100 watts of power. Wow, that's pretty nice. As a little note, for those laptops that don't have a USB-C or Thunderbolt 3 connector but do have a USB-A port, we got it right here, this one, okay? Don't worry, Wavelink has got you covered by including a USB-C to USB-A cable in the package. So you can still use this powerful dock for everything and the features related to transferring data and you're only going to be missing the ability to charge your laptop via the dock's own power supply and will just need to use your laptop's original charger. The dock supports, of course, both Windows and Mac systems, including Windows 10, 8, 7, and Mac iOS 10.15. We've noticed, too, that this lovely design little box has very sticky silicone feet. So once you set it down on the table or your desk, it's going to be planted nicely and securely and not slide around all over the place, which is a great feature considering how many cables you just may have plugged into the dock. You definitely don't want it flying around all over the place. And there you have it. That's a wrap for me. Big G on Newegg signing off. What's up, eggheads? Kenan here with Newegg Now, always bringing you the best products for the best prices. If you're rummaging around the internet, for a universal docking station that supports dual displays, please look no further. The solution to all of your problems, right here. The Wavelink USB-C Ultra 5K Universal Docking Station. That's right, I said 5K. Let's open the box. Okay, so this is everything you get in the box. You get a quick start guide, information cards, 
Okay, one DC 20 volt certified power adapter, one USB-A to C cable, one USB-C to C cable, <laughs> and the USB-C Ultra 5K universal docking station itself. All right, it is fully compatible with USB type C, type A, and Thunderbolt 3 laptops and desktops. That means it is fit for the future. This is the latest technology. That means you're gonna get more mileage for your money. All right, that's always very important. A lot of universal hubs out there aren't so universal anymore. All right, some only support up to USB 3.0. This is compatible on computers with USB-C and Thunderbolt 3, all right? They've included the USB-C and USB-A to C cables. So let's take a closer look here. Nice compact design. It's gonna look pretty professional on your desk. All right, on the front you'll see four super speed USB 3.0 ports getting you up to five gigabits per second transfer speed as well as headphone and mic jacks. Really maximize the performance capability of your machine. Of course, these ports are still backwards compatible with USB 2.0 and 1.1 devices and you're good to go with, with hot swapping. Almost said hot swapping. Good to go with hot swapping. So plug in your keyboard, mouse, optical drive, USB, foot massager, you name it, unplug and plug back in at will, no problem. On the back, two more super speed USB 3.0 ports. That means six USB 3.0 ports in total. One USB-C in port. You got your gigabit ethernet jack right here and some display ports, all right? Let's talk about the display. This supports up to 5K display. Output up to 5120 by 2880 at 60 Hertz. How about that? How do we get the 5K, you ask? Well, they uh, have it broken down here on a little diagram. All right, so when you use the dual display ports, you have two uh, dual display ports. If you use them simultaneously, with a 5K monitor, that's how you're gonna get the 5K. All right, the Wavelink Ultra 5K docking station also supports dual 4K display. You can achieve this in three different ways. You can use two 4K HDMI video, or two 4K display ports, or one of each. You could use one 4K HDMI and one 4K display port. 4K output will be up to 4096 by 2160, at 60 hertz. And again, you get the 5K by using both display ports simultaneously. Wavelink offers you a lot of flexibility with this device. It supports USB to display. You get distinct mode, extended mode, mirrored mode, primary display, obviously. You can extend left, right, above or below, or rotate 90, 180, or 270 degrees. So this is gonna accommodate anyone who has two monitors literally for any reason. Gaming, architecture, doctor's office, stock market, day traders, all right? You're all gonna love this. And compatibility is very wide ranging. You can use this with any Windows XP 7, 8, or 10 machine. You can also use this with Mac OS 10.6 and onwards, Mac OS 10.13.4 to 10.13.6 has single extended display support with AirPlay. No support on Linux or Unix uh, or ARM based Windows operating systems like Surface RT, for example. Uh, also, the docking station does not support power delivery function, all right? But you will get to use up to six USB 3.0 devices simultaneously, all good for hot swapping. You got your ethernet connection, headphone and mic jack, You'll get either dual 4K display or a single 5K display. You get multiple viewing modes, distinct, extended, mirrored, etc. My dear eggheads, the Wavelink Ultra 5K Universal Docking Station. Please let us know what you think of this product in the reviews and comments. For current pricing, please check the description or click that link below. I'm Kenan with New Egg Now, and now you know. What's up, eggheads? Kenan here with New Egg Now, bringing you the best products for the best prices. Super excited to introduce to you the Aoster Motor S07B electric bike today. As you can see, I've already got it assembled in front of me. It comes 90% pre-assembled in the box already, all parts carefully packaged 
and protected. In the box, you get the e-bike, battery charger, toolkit, and user manual. If you're in the market for an electric bike, you already know prices can go from 500 bucks all the way up to $8,000. Pretty exorbitant prices out there. So why buy an electric bike anyway? With an e-bike, you get to combine the benefits of a traditional bicycle with the added benefits of easily climbing hills or fighting the wind. Those can make cycling quite a drag. <laughs> if you have joint pain or asthma, an e-bike can allow you to experience the joy of cycling without being in pain. Get you back out there enjoying nature, either in solitude or with friends and family. The Aoster Motor S07B is an awesome model on more of the budget end of the spectrum yet still delivering many of the great perks that the expensive bikes deliver. Let's get into it. Okay, from the outside working in, the S07B uses a strong and lightweight aluminum alloy frame suitable for users of height 5'4", up to 6'5", and up to about 300 pounds. It's equipped with a front light, a rear reflector, front and rear disc brakes, Shimano Outer 7 speed derailleur, you get a switch for a shock absorber, all right? Suitable for more complex terrain, keeping you comfy no matter where you are, very good. Let's talk motor and battery. Aoster Motor gives you a 750 watt high speed brushless motor and removable lithium battery right here. Strong, strong driving force, long endurance. This battery is a 48 volt, 13 amp hour lithium battery. Can you guess what speed you can achieve with this motor and battery combo? Many e-bikes out there can't top 20 miles per hour. So the fact that this one can do 20 miles per hour is pretty good. Just kidding. You get a top speed of 25 miles per hour. Charge the battery in four to six hours and you're gonna get 30 to 43 miles of distance out of just one charge. The variance will depend of course on the amount of hills and your speed. But this is more than enough power for a regular daily commute, grocery run, or just enjoying a quick frolic around nature. And also, that's only if you're using e-bike mode, right? You get three modes, e-bike, pedal assisted, and normal pedaled mode. You can obviously use it as a regular bike, so you can get far more distance out of the bike if you were going to conserve a little bit of power along the way, right? Maybe pedal yourself along level terrain and then use the e-bike mode just to climb hills. All right, one charge will last you a super long time that way. All right, so quick recap so far. Aluminum alloy frame, suitable for users 5'4 to 6'5, less than 300 pounds. Charge the removable battery in four to six hours. Get 30 to 43 miles out of one charge, speeds up to 25 miles per hour, and three working modes, e-bike, pedal assisted, and normal pedaled mode. Let's check out these fat tires. All right, this is pretty insane. 26 by four inch fat tires, giving you incredible traction. You'll have absolutely no problem cruising over beach, snow, gravel, rain, dirt, sand, even ice, all right? Suitable for all terrain. I don't care if you're in Alaska, Death Valley, Machu Picchu, riding in the snow or on a beach, your journey is only limited by your imagination. And it is not limited by these tires. Moving over to the display, you've got an SW LCD display. They even give you a USB port under the meter to charge your phone while you're traveling. Imagine that. If you've got headphones or a Bluetooth headset on, you're riding along, streaming music, listening to an audiobook, or even on a conference call on the way to work, arrive at your destination, phone still fully charged. It's, it's those little things in life, right? So nice. And that's pretty much everything I can impart about this bicycle without you riding it yourself. It's definitely a great long-term investment. Riding an e-bike can save a lot on transportation costs. It's good for the environment. It's great for your body, for your mental health. You can use the bike traditionally without power for a full workout or use e-bike mode and pedal assist to get up those tough hills, work through strong winds, or if you struggle with joint pain or asthma. This could be a great gift for anyone who fits that description as well. Pro tip, when assembling, first attach the handlebars, flip the bike over, and install the tire, all right? That'll make the process very easy. You'll also want to loosen the bolts near the discs uh, at the tires before attaching them. 
All right, so, uh, so yeah, Aosto Motor has thought of a lot here. They give you a strong, durable frame, amazing tires, built for any terrain and weather conditions. You've got the lights, the brakes, the LCD with phone charging port. Really all that's left is just to get out there and have fun. Let us know what you think about this bike in the reviews and comments. For current pricing, please check the description or click that link below. The Aoster Motor S07B Electric Bike. I'm Kenan with New Egg Now, and now you know. What's up, eggheads? Kenan here with New Egg Now, always bringing you the best products for the best prices. I'm personally really excited about this product the Lian Li Unifan SL120 RGB fan kit. Without a doubt, without a stutter, one of the best fan kits out there these days. They also have the 140 millimeter version, which has almost all the same features, just slightly different RPM and airflow CFM. Let's not waste any time and open the dang box. Here we go, in the box you get instruction manuals. 12 screws. You get your hub, double-sided foam so you can attach the hub to the inside of your case. That's really helpful. Three cable module connectors. You get one SATA power cable, one USB cable, one five volt, three pin cable, PWN cable, RGB color cable, all the necessary cables to get everything connected. And of course, the main show, three beautiful 120 millimeter ARGB fans. Now before I dive into the incredible functionality, let's appreciate this build quality, this dare I say, art. Now, th this is high dining, my friend. I'm really not kidding or exaggerating here. These are not your run of the mill mills, right? They've got these aluminum accents on the side. Check that out. Nice aluminum in the center. It's not just dinky plastic. These boast fluid dynamic bearing technology and extra magnetic force that reduces turbulence and noise while increasing overall working efficiency. Notice each corner has anti-vibration rubber, minimizing vibration and sounds, you know, for better stability, improving the user experience. The LED strips are not your standard circles either, right? We see the standard circles and tons of fans. Check these out. They've really done something kind of original here. Quite modern, angular design. Okay, it's gonna give a very unique look inside the case. LED strips are on both sides as well, so they can be mounted either way and you'll still see the light. There are 32 addressable RGB LEDs embedded in each fan, 16 on either side. The light's gonna shine through a diffuser in here, so you'll get really even light from all angles, no LED hot spots. You're gonna get really vibrant effects out of this. It's a fact. These are premium fans. I'm gonna get them installed into this case so you can check it out. But before I do that, I wanna show off their absolutely genius modular design. Let's say I wanna install three fans in unison. What I'll do is I'll first take two fans and interlock them like so. Ooh, that is so cool. Let me get the third one locked in here. Ah, I love it. Awesome, awesome. Each fan features a cable module with a pin-to-pin -pin contact point to receive power and signal. One second, let me plug a cable module right in here. Okay, now we are cooking. Okay, each cable module can support up to four uni fans. I've got three here, but it can support up to four. This allows you to use either a single fan or four from one cable module. Check this out. I've attached the cable module to the hub, okay? But only one cable goes to the hub. So that means with one hub that has four module ports, you can support up to 16 fans with just four cables. That's crazy, it's, it's genius. Lee and Lee is truly inventing the game here. They allow you to maximize fans Maximize airflow while obliterating the number of cables running around your case. Once you have the hub installed to say to power on the motherboard, I recommend, whoops, I recommend the system set up to use Lee and Lee's L Connect software. With their software, you'll be able to control and adjust fan RPM, colors, brightness, and lighting effects super easily. 
To set that up, you'll have to connect the USB connector to a spare header on your motherboard. So beautiful. So I've got them hooked up to power now, obviously. With the L-Connect software, we can explore and enjoy a ton of different lighting effects as well. Right now, we see the 120 millimeter fans working in all their glory. Each fan has seven blades, giving a nice large volume and pressure, stable airflow, really, really silent. These will ramp up all the way to 1900 RPM, airflow up to 58.54 CFM, and barely any noise as low as 17 dBA, which is quieter than rustling leaves. Did you know rustling leaves scan in around 20 dBA? <laughs> I'm sometimes an audio nerd, but yeah, you've got to run these at full power before you even start to hear much. That's the takeaway here. So all in all, this is an incredible package, just truly revolutionary. Like I said, Lee and Lee is changing the game. They are not running with the herd. They've changed up the outer design of the fans, given that aluminum top shelf design. The LEDs aren't that traditional circle, giving you the unique modern angular look. The fact that each modular cable supports a daisy chain of four fans, giving you up to 16 fans in one hub, just unheard of. You would normally need multiple hubs for this. The amount of cables would be ridiculous. Your motherboard might not even have that many available headers, right? So Lee and Lee has done a lot for us with the Unifan SL120 ARGB fan kit. Buy a few of them, do the daisy chain, create an incredible look. This would be great for you or any gamer friends of yours who appreciate high-end technology. That's what this is, high-end tech at an affordable price. They also have the kit in 140 millimeters, so check that out if you want. My dear eggheads, the Lee and Lee Unifan SL120 ARGB fan kit. Let us know what you think in the comments or reviews. I say it's a buy. I think this really stands apart from the herd. For specific prices, please check the description or click that link below. I'm Kenan with New Egg Now, and now you know. What's up, eggheads? How are you? I'm Kenan with New Egg Now, always bringing you the best products for the best prices. And if you're on the hunt, for a powerful power supply, then I've got just the product for you here today. This is the highly efficient, fully modular, silent as the night, Super Flower Lead X3 850 watt gold power supply. Let's open the box. Okay, well if you're like me, you appreciate nice packaging. They don't overdo it, but they make it feel like something nice is happening here. You've got a bag of modular cables. This will be for the motherboard, CPU, PCIe, SATA, IDE, and power, of course. You've got your manual right here. Screws for the case. And the main event, the power supply. Okay, and as the name implies, this PSU is 80 plus gold certified. That means it is rated to be 89.49% efficient at 20% load, 90.68% efficient at 50% load, and 88.21% efficient at 100% load. That's actually quite close to platinum level certification eligibility. And on top of that, it boasts the latest fully modular cable design. Such a brilliant way, by the way, just to maximize the PSU cables and connectors, the cable management in general. You know, when I was younger, every different component had a different size cable. I ended up leaving my systems not as organized as they could be. This helps people with similarly short patience. The modular setup also improves airflow, so you get some synergistic cooling there as well. Let's talk more about what's going on under the hood, shall we? The Lead X3 850 provides high efficiency and stable power output with its 13 centimeter three-way thermal control intelligent cooling fan to ensure your professional PC system will work consistently under a heavy load. It's capable of powering a system equipped with the NVIDIA SLI or ATI Crossfire X, FYI. And how about the multiple levels of fan control? All right, compared to the previous Lead X2 series, this fan's performance has been optimized in order to really minimize the amount of noise produced. You know, we want the only thing we hear to be the sound of pwning noobs, not our computer gasping for power and air. 
that's a, that's a sad image. The fluid dynamic bearing inside plays a particularly important role in making the fan's performance possible. You're able to select between three different cooling modes according to your PC's environment. You make that selection with this simple button on the back. You'll see zero, one, and two, just as easy as one, two, three, <laughs> as easy as zero, one, two. In Eco Zero, the fan starts operating as soon as the temperatures are between 143 and 154 Fahrenheit. When temperatures fall below 116 to 127 Fahrenheit again, the fan will stop. In Eco One, the temperature threshold at which the fan starts will be 107 to 118 Fahrenheit, with the lower threshold being 80 to 91. In Eco Two, otherwise auto mode, the fan will be continuously running when the PC is on and its speeds will be adjusted dynamically based on the temperatures. And thanks to the low fan speeds and the FDB bearings, the power supply remains extremely quiet even in active operation. This power supply boasts active PFC design, that's power factor correction. Now, I'm not an electrical engineer, as I've often said, but what I do know is that having PFC reduces the amount of reactive power your system generates. Reactive power is actually completely useless to your system. It's different from true power. Isn't that fascinating? I, I love getting down to the nitty gritty, nerdy level of things. That's where the real world happens. If you graphed the vectors of the power, they'd be perpendicular to each other at right angles. Anyway, your electric company charges for both reactive and true power, but your system don't need that reactive power. So by reducing it, you save money. Voila. That's what really matters in the end, right? More green for your machine. You've also got LLC resonance conversion in the primary range and DC-DC conversion to ensure overall system stability. Finally, you've got 105 degrees centigrade electrolytic capacitors all the way from Japan. These polymer solid capacitors are used on the main board in order to offer the best quality. Clearly, the Superflower Leadex 3 packs a punch, but wait, there's more. Like a squad of bodyguards, you've got complete protection, except here the bodyguards are over under voltage protection, short circuit protection, overload, over temp, and over current protection. The OCP uh, is on plus 3.3 volt and plus 5 volt rails. This full scale protection gives you peace of mind by preventing damage to your valuable hardware. Okay, my dear eggheads, I hope you enjoyed this one. This PSU will make a great addition to your system, or it would be a great gift for a friend. Show them you care about their hardware too. It's got high performance, it's quiet, it saves on the electric bill, and it's got that full protection. The Superflower Lead X3 850 watt gold power supply. Let us know what you think of this product in the comments or reviews. For current prices, please check the description or click that link below. I'm Kenan with Newegg Now, and now you know. Hey guys, it's Josh here with Newegg Now, where we're bringing you some of the coolest new tech products at the most affordable prices. Today, we're going to take a look at the ES Gaming ES RGB 750 watt power supply. This is an incredibly useful piece of kit. It looks awesome, and it also happens to be really reliable and stable. So let's get down to it. What are we looking at here? To give you a quick overview before I go into more detail, this is a fully modular power supply and it is available in 750 watt and is built to deliver 80 plus gold efficiency, a PSU industry standard. The series also features a 120 millimeter hydraulic bearing fan and other premium components to help deliver continuous stable power while maintaining near silent operation, reliable performance at safe temperatures. So you can be sure that everything is going to run smoothly and sound. So let's take a closer look at some of the specs of the ES Gaming ES RGB 750 watt power supply. This power supply is 80 plus gold certified. What does that mean? Well, let me tell you. The 750 watt power supply provides up to 90% operational efficiency under typical loads, while also generating less heat and lowering your energy costs. Furthermore, 
To give you even more assurance, we check the testing reports on the 80 plus website under 20, 50 and 100% loads and the efficiency is 89.11, 90.99 and 89.04% respectively. All in all, the 80 plus gold certified power supply provides ultra high power efficiency of at least 87% at any load between 20% and 100%, saving you money on your electrical bill, reducing heat in your computer's system, and prolonging its life. What's not to love about that? Now let's talk about the ARGB control. The ES Gaming Power Supply provides 14 lighting effects in seven modes that can be switched and turned off easily with just a press of the light button. They look really cool and futuristic, and they really bring your system to life with a built-in unique lighting effect that don't require additional controls. We also have super high quality components on this thing. The 120 millimeter fluid dynamic bearing autofan is quiet, intelligent, only spinning at high speeds when your power supply is under heavy stress and slowing down for quieter operation at lower loads. I can feel and see the quality of this product just from holding it. It is a piece of really, really solid kit. Finally, we also have the full modular cable design. This is a really awesome feature. The fully modular cable design allows you to disconnect the cables from the power supply side if they are not needed for the specific configuration to help reduce clutter and improve airflow. I've been Josh for Newegg Now. See you next time.